In this video, I'm going to quickly talk about a very simple and small factor which is going to put a lot of uh, pressure on your customers and they might leave your website, which is website loading speed. So a lot of people, they don't uh, care about bigger images or loading speed, but it really matters a lot. So on average, 47% of users think that the average time to load a website is just two seconds. And I think that most of the websites, they don't load, for example, e-commerce website, they don't load within this time frame or even three seconds. So make sure that your website loads very fast and your images loads as well because people are going to view the product images. They are not going to wait for like 10 seconds to load that image, maybe four or five maximum sec. So make sure four to five seconds is the maximum, I think. I personally think that four to five seconds is the maximum. So make sure that you have good loading speed of your website optimized by a developer. 39% of people, they are not going to return to a website uh, or not going to purchase a, from a website where images won't load. And uh, on average, $2.6 million, they have been lost in retail sales just due to slow websites. So this is a very big figure. So make sure that you have proper website that is that is going to load um, with a lot of speed and i will show you some tips on how to improve it how you can add few capabilities to your website to make it speed a bit better and keep your customers on your website so let's get started first method is that there are plugins and there are um, lazy image loading capabilities you can add to your website where uh, you might load a very uh, simple image, smaller images first and when then you load the bigger or the zoomed in high resolution images later on. You can also compress or optimize your images for sizing. Uh, when I used to design websites and even I used to code them, uh, we used uh, different online tools uh, to optimize and uh, resize images. So not in the dimensions part but in the size part so we have reduced i think um, like 615 kilobytes of images to just 150 kb so this is a large large difference your landing page or your first page where you are trying to land your customers most of the time it must be super fast to load and uh, there is another technology called google amp pages i have recently done uh, one amp page for one of my clients and uh, uh, they just uh, they were some ranking website and uh, ranking website for some software or services uh, uh, for some accountancy services and uh, we just optimized their first landing page for google amp pages actually google put those amp pages in search results or seo search engine optimization more higher in the ranking so if your pages are on Google AMP uh, technology and someone searches for your product, your website is going to take lead in the search results. So make sure you use all these optimizations. Here are some of the links to the websites or tools I use. Uh, Tools.pingdong.com uh, There's another tool by Google developers. I have left all the links over here. GT metrics. You just put the URL of the website over there. Let's use this tools.pingdong.com and show you what can be done. So you just uh, use the URL or your website address and just uh, start testing it for speed. Google is really cool if you want to test for mobile speed and your desktop speed. So let's see some of the examples. Now this is one tool I use a lot of time. This is called Ping Dom Website Speed Test. And uh, let's put my website over here, lenuxid.com. And you can test from different servers, Asia, Japan, Europe, South uh, America, uh, wherever you are, or you want to test your customers. Most of your customers are from some um, continent. You can search that. So it will take some time. In the meanwhile, let's test over here on the Google page speed lenuxid.com let's analyze it will take some time it is going to show the results 
let's see how my website actually performs okay so here we have the results so you can see uh, this is the ping dom result and here we have the results 83 percent in the b category it's green page size is 1.9 mb it loads in 2.17 seconds this is really really great time so it is it is loading at a very good speed uh, what can I do I can add expire header so this is these are the things your you have to show your developers uh, they are going to do that and improve the ranking of this website in the speed category uh, over here Google gives me 62% for my mobile speed uh, which is in the middle somewhere and uh, on the desktop we have 80 percent so this is good i think uh, i have to make some adjustments for the ad expire headers which i already know i will ask my developer uh, that is in my team so these are the improvements you can do so you can see make uh, fewer http requests and add expire headers so these are the things you have you can improve to improve your website so this loading time is really good i think 2.17 seconds uh, which is almost um, within three second limit so that is all about how you can test the sp speed of your website and uh, i uh, i think you have learned good about how you can improve your website speed how you can test your website speed on mobile and desktop version both i hope you have enjoyed this lesson uh, i will meet you in another lesson till then take care and bye